Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over the surge protector and voltage range monitor. I got this sent to me from the guys over at Rector Seal. And this is something that I'm going to install on my air conditioning system on my house and test it out, see how it works. So I'm just going to do a little unboxing. And as you can see, it's the RSH50 VRM kit. So let's open it up and see what's inside. As you can see, there you go, you got your Rector Seal logo. And take it out. All right. It's got some nice little latches here. Helps keep it nice and tight and sealed when it's outside. This is going to be mounted on the exterior wall in my application. Um, I guess other applications you could mount this inside, but it, it is a nice sturdy box. Of course, you will have to drill your own holes in order to bring the electrical connections inside. So as we open it up, we have our little instruction manual. Got some bubble wrap. And there is our surge protector and monitor. As you can see, it's pretty nice, compact, pretty tidy. They have some clips here with some screws. These are going to go in the back here to give you a place to screw on. I guess if you wanted to, you could just drill holes in the back and just put your screws in through the inside. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to install this in this video as well. I'm not going to show you all the drilling and all the other stuff, but I'm going to show you what it looks like before and after. You have your directions here. It also talks about the setup, how you can set up the delays when there's over voltage, delays for under voltage, um, incoming delay, and set the timer when the system shuts down and how long you want it to wait before it allows the power to come back in. So those of you who may not exactly understand what this is, it's going to be a surge protector for my incoming voltage to protect my air conditioning system. I do have an inverter driven condenser, so it's very important, even though the existing unit has surge protection in it, that I add additional surge protection on this. But in addition, this monitors the incoming power, and I'll be able to set um, safety features. Basically, uh, for instance, if I set the, if I have 240 volts incoming and I set the safety limit at 245, I can set the limit so any voltage over 245 and the duration of how long over that limit I set before this actually kills power to my unit. And then in turn also set that timer on how long it takes to reapply power back to the unit, if that makes any sense. Anyhow, seems pretty good. I'm excited to use it and check it out. You can see in this nice little rubber gasket here to keep that keep it weatherproof, especially in Florida. We get a lot of rain and a lot of critters. So this should stay relatively untouched once it's sealed. So I, I wouldn't recommend drilling any holes in this. If you do, as least as possible. And if you do, also seal them up. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and start installing this. What I'm going to do first is set up my whip to this before I mount it on the wall. I got drill bit and I'm going to drill two holes in the bottom, one for line in, one for line out. I'm also going to, once this is in, I'm going to go ahead and seal this up because I don't want any critters. I want to try to see if I can keep this and maintain this clean atmosphere. Uh, you know, typically you get like ants, bugs and spider webs and wasps, all kind of things that find their way into the electrical panels. So I'm actually going to attempt to seal this completely and see how long I can keep that seal for. Um, let me show you where I'm going to put it. That's my, that's my unit. It's my disconnect for my AC. I'm going to put it right underneath and that should work out pretty well. Thought I'd show you real quick on how the wire connection is made. And you basically strip your wire, shove it in this hole here. Very simple. I like the way the terminal connections are. They're nice and clean, and then it just crimps it down nice and tight. Pretty simple. Okay, got her mounted and wired up, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in the disconnect. Hopefully nothing explodes. Okay. 
All right, we got the system all powered up, wired up, and as you can see, it's telling me what my incoming voltage is. This unit has a built-in four-minute time delay. If you can read that in the directions there, that is non-adjustable. And then you can set up your overcurrent protection, undercurrent protection. You can set the delay and overcurrent when the system will click back on and your delay and undercurrent when the system goes into protection mode and how long it takes before it clicks the system back on. And of course you have your event log, which is what I'm really interested to see how this works. Um, I went ahead and set up the overcurrent protection for 250 and the undercurrent protection was at 208, so I'm fine for that right now. Um, the, you can see it's kind of hard to see, but that light on that surge protector is on, so that's active. But this is saying I'm at 239.6.3, kind of going to 230. I'm going to go ahead and check it against my meter. Now, I have an older meter. We'll see what the difference is. Okay, so I'm getting 239 there, and I'm getting 240 on my meter. So it's about an amp and a half, or one amp differential. Um, could be my field piece. That, that thing's been thrown around quite a bit, and I don't think I've ever had it cal calibrated. So I'm assuming this is correct. But let me go ahead and pop this cover back on. Okay, pretty nice and tidy. Everything looks... Pretty good. I really like this rubber seal, so it should keep all this weather out of it. As It's funny, as I mentioned earlier, that we get a lot of rain, and it just so happened as soon as I started to mount this, a quick little shower came in. But just like Florida, you wait 5-10 minutes, usually it stops. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and seal up these connections and monitor this for, um, for a few weeks and see what kind of error codes I get. Stay tuned.